Hello there, everyone, and welcome to this first episode of the Optimize Press Teardowns. Now, these teardown videos are where we're going to take an industry leading site and then we're going to tear down the elements of the page and then show you how we can model the same style of page and build it all inside Optimize Press. Now we're going to be picking obviously industry leading sites and even sites that you guys might even recommend to us, okay? We're going to look at all the fundamental optimization elements that they put into these pages and then we're going to show you exactly how you can do the same on your own pages. Now the first one we're going to jump in today is a leading expert in the email marketing services or the solution to email marketing and the page we've picked today is Aweber, okay? So let's jump on the screen here and let's take a look at this page. So here we have it, this is the page. The uh, URL of this page is aweber.com start sending email.htm. Okay, so um, this page is not their home page, it's a page that we've found and then we're gonna sort of model this page and try and create something similar to it using similar elements that they have. And we're gonna use the same sort of style of page and create it inside Optimize Press. Now let's firstly take a look at why we like this page. Um, First of all, it's a beautiful page, it's nicely laid out and it's got some great elements in it. So firstly looking at the top of the page, we've got this two call to actions here which are nicely positioned and the first one you come across on the left is watch this video and when you click on it, it opens up the video player and it instantly starts playing using the Wistia player there. And this is great, you know, it's auto play so if you've obviously clicked on the button it's going to auto play and it shows you the video a great way to engage with the audience and what's nice is that that video is just not in your face immediately on this page there's a button there okay so you have to engage you have to click on the button to watch the video then they have the 30 day of the free trial call to action button as well okay so they've got that there and they've got this lovely background image played along the top or positioned in the top here Going further down, we then also have that instant rapport building with the customer or the user, and we've got the CEO, Tom Culzer here, a picture of him with his mission statement there, nicely aligned, sort of the first thing you see on this landing page, right underneath the call to actions. Going further down the page, we then have sort of some featured blocks or some featured elements in the page. This is not a text heavy page, you know, people want to scan through this stuff, they can see the features, it's easy to digest the information they're showing on the page. And then immediately below that we're hit with this other call to action for the 30 day free trial. And it's just beautifully laid out. You'll notice as well there's lots of white spacing in here, so all the features or the areas have room to breathe on this page, you know, so there's lots of space, it's no clutter, you know, it's nicely positioned. Going further down again, we've then got this customer testimonial section, social proof, perfect social proof to reinforce to the user that they're real people using our services. You know, these are credible people. They've got links to their sites here as well, which you can click on and read. A great thing to have on any of your pages, social proof. Going further down, they've um, included a nice little uh, pricing table in here. And then below the pricing table, again, a lovely call to action button and all the colors are coordinated on this page they're using a nice three sort of color tone nothing complex nothing fancy just a nice tone that matches their original color branding that they're already using and going further down again we have another call to action now if you've got this far throughout this entire page you know this is sort of a last call if you don't if you've not taken a free trial this far they've included the little free email tips and you can get their 10 part email series course so a nice little positioning of an opt-in box maybe try and catch the last users that are coming down, the people who aren't taking the free trial. And then going further down, again, if you've noticed this, you might have questions. They've put their questions position at the bottom here with the support picture. Probably assume that's one of the tech guys actually in the office there, Aweber. So some information here, look, they've got the phone numbers, things you can call. Right at the bottom, there's some footer sections with the social icons and some other legal links and things there. So, you know, this page, a beautiful page, lovely design, lots of white space, you know, it's very easy to read, easy to digest, and we're going to try and produce this same page. You know, Aweber, they are a leading expert in the whole email marketing solution. They're a respected email company, you know, people use them, they're used by thousands of people. As Tom Kelzer says there, we're helping 120,000 customers grow their business. So they are used massively by a lot of people. They have great features built into Aweber. There are a lot of features in there, how you can manage your email lists and autoresponders and segment people in different lists. And they have a great support structure as well, you know, it's a super site. And obviously they integrate with Aweb, um, 
integrate with Optimize Press or we integrate with them so we can easily add our customers who come to Optimize Press and use their opt-in forms, we can put them onto our Aweber accounts. Now, I also want to make clear that we're not going to copy this page. We're going to use elements on this page that we have built into Optimize Press and also similar elements that are used on thousands of other sites. Things like these featured sort of layouts here and also these customer testimonials. So we're going to try and sort of produce something similar from scratch in this video. You can watch it through and you can follow along. Okay, I'm not going to copy this page. Aweber have put a lot of time into their own pages. They've designed them. And we don't want to go around copying things like that. We want to try and model from their success, see how they do things, and maybe we can try and produce something similar to what they've got. Um, another thing to note is this page is probably a part of a split testing funnel or something that they do. Um, I read a case study recently that Aweber tests lots of stuff and literally changing words on buttons and increase their conversions dramatically. So the page we're looking at right now, this might completely change in a few days or months. It might be taken down, it might just be part of another split test they're running. So um, this is actually different to the home page as well, I want to point out, which is completely different to this, is remove some elements. Now before we get started in the actual teardown or building the page, I want to show you the page that I've already built and then you can go if you choose, you can go and watch the other video on this page which is showing you how to build it from scratch. It's me building every element and putting everything in place and that's in a much longer video so you can go and watch that. Now here's the page that I have already built and this is here, you can see it here. Now if I keep flicking between Aweber and this page, you can see here we've got the top section with the call to actions. I've added in the top section here with the overlay optimizer and the video in. And then we've included the mission statement similar to what Aweber have here. They've got the mission statement here from Tom. And they've put that in. Going down they've got the sort of features cover or features section. So I've included a features section similar with our featured block builder. And then going further down they've added in that call to action button here. And again we've got our call to action below. We go into the customer testimonials like they have similar sort of format, different style in the testimonials but we've put the images in. And going further down on their page they have the pricing table. Obviously you could put in your own pricing table, that's up to you. We've just actually put in another sort of featured another element that we have like a step graphic which you could use to cover more features if you want to. And then underneath theirs they've got the call to action button again which we've added as well. And then scrolling further down, they've included that last opt-in form before they have the image of the tech or the agent here and the, um, the customer service guy and then the text here how you can contact them. We've included the same as well with the opt-in form and then we've put in the little image and the sort of have any questions text here. So this is the page that we have made in the teardown and there's a video below this video that you can watch the full walkthrough, it's a much longer video, some parts will be fast forwarded and skipped but you can obviously watch that through and learn how you can build this exact page that we've built here. The template is available in the Clubhouse for Clubhouse members so you haven't got to go and walk through it. If you're not a Clubhouse member, follow along with the longer teardown video and you can see exactly how we've built everything in that page. So as always, thanks for watching, we'd love your feedback on these teardown videos, we plan to do more. So. Jump in the comments below and let us know your thoughts.